What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be going over a well known atheist by the name of Alex O'Connor, used to be Cosmic Skeptic, who has uh, uploaded a video recently talking about um, why he is suspicious about the Gospels. He was uh, on a podcast with a guy by the name of uh, Chris Williamson, and they talk about many things, but I really had a couple thoughts on one specific claim of his, um, and I'll read it. Uh, almost quote for quote here in just a minute. But I was just really shocked at, at what he was saying here, but let, let's just go ahead and jump in. So, he says, quote, It does seem suspicious, for example, that the Gospel of Mark, which is the earliest Gospel, contains no post-resurrection appearances, and then the Gospel of Matthew does include, then Luke includes more. It's only in the Gospel of John we get the Doubting Thomas story, which is the latest. Uh, so, I'll just end the quote there. So, basically, his, his idea is, what he's trying to say is that, um, he sees these stories about Jesus as mythological. As in, like, what he's trying to say is that the further away we get from the event of Jesus being crucified, because, obviously, he would not deny Jesus' historicity and Jesus being crucified under Pontius Pilate. That's not what he's saying. What he's trying to say is that belief in the resurrection um, is something that was developed over time. So, like, the story of Jesus was very simple, and it was just some man that was killed for some things that he said. And then over time, it, he became this resurrected man. Um, and, and we see similar uh, objections to this, like, scholarly work by, like, uh, Bart Ehrman, for example. He has tried to do this, not to the same level that he... Uh, he that Alex is doing, but in the way of that, like um, he, he will describe it in the in the senses of like Jesus claiming to be God. So like what Bar Ehrman will try to say is that Jesus claims to be God in John, yeah, but he doesn't claim to be God in Mark or Matthew or uh, or Luke. Now that right there, what I just explained is it for a different video. I would I would if anybody's interested in that, I can do something on it. But, um, I'm going to be focusing strictly on the point about where, uh, whether or not the Gospels were developed or evolved, so to speak, to, uh, believe in Jesus resurrecting from the dead physically. So, I would first like to say there's nothing suspicious about it. When, when looking at the Gospels, uh, with what he's referring to, I'd assume that if, if we just look at the well-accepted dates of all of the Gospels, which would be Mark in 65, maybe 70 A.D., Matthew, which would be 70 to 75 A.D., Luke coming in about 75 or 80 A.D., and John finishing out about 85 or 90. So this is a widely accepted view of, of the Gospels being written down by these individuals. Well, that's another topic too, but let's just focus on that. Jesus died specifically around 30 to 33 A.D. So... Um, basically, the claim is that we see additions to the story um, as we get further away from this moment in time. So, with John being the latest, this is where we get the most craziness, the craziest stories added up. However, we simply can't come to this conclusion if we look at all of the other texts that cooperate what we just looked at with the four Gospels. So, basically what I'm saying is we cannot just rely specifically on just the four Gospels because that wasn't the only things ever written about Jesus. So, I'm not even going to be looking at um, non-Christian sources right now because some of those can be a little late too when you start talking about Tacitus and Josephus and Pliny. We're not even going to focus on them because someone may make the same claims about them as in they were later editions. Also, but let's just focus specifically on our earliest, which would be the letters uh, or the epistles of Paul. Uh, Paul, most of his epistles are written from 48 to 55 AD, depending on which ones you're looking at. So, this is an, a really interesting thing. Is what, so, if Alex's claim is that Jesus, uh, his, the story about him being resurrected, only happened as we got further away, you wouldn't expect to see a story about Jesus being re resurrected in something like Paul's writings that date that early, right? Well, the, the problem is, is we do. Um, 
And I, I have a really hard time understanding how Alex could come to this suspicion with something like this because of how clear Paul's letters were. So let's just take a look at something like uh, 1 Corinthians 15, where Paul makes it explicitly clear. He's quoting a creed, a, a already existing creed in chapter uh, 1, verse 1, or not chapter 1, verse 1 of uh, 1 Corinthians 15. And, and when you see that, when I say that he's quoting a creed, he's literally quoting a Christian saying that already existed for uh, um, many of years prior to Paul, before he was even Christian. And then verse 3, he explains the creed. And he, he talks about how Jesus died for our sins according to the scriptures and then was buried. And then he raised on the third day. And then after his resurrection, um, he appeared to Peter and then the twelve and then five hundred brothers. And, and, you know, Paul continues on in First Corinthians 15 if, if anybody is going to feels like uh, looking up this passage. I, I'm just going to briefly quote it. I'm not going to read the entire thing to, so I don't have to make this extremely long. But my point is that Paul speaks openly of the physical appearances of Jesus to at least 512 people or so. And this is written in 53, 54, 55 AD. So like, this, is, this predates Mark. So why would we think that um, the idea that the Gospels were developed over time. And, and that's the thing, is I, I think you can even see the resurrection narrative even within Mark. Now, that's the thing, is like, Mark ends kind of abruptly. So, like, perhaps we lost the ending of Mark. That's a that's an explanation. Um, you know, because we have the addition that was added to Mark years later, but perhaps we just lost a part of Mark and we may uh, never find it and that's okay too um, but we also have to remember that there were sources outside of the Gospels that the Gospel writers were pertaining to so like when you read <coughs> Matthew or Luke or whatever or uh, and, um, Matthew Mark Luke a lot of scholars will, will look at these things and uh, call these things the Q source source of Q and this was just a uh, we, we don't physically have this, this Q source, but this Q is, is just a, a representation of people that wrote the sayings of Jesus down, but it wasn't presented in like a gospel form, like in, in the way of a specific story. They just were writing Jesus' quotes down, and, and this is a widely accepted view again. So it's really interesting to see that, that Alex made this objection. Uh, and you can just see that it, it's very wrong. You can see that, that the idea of Jesus being resurrected dates very far back in time. So, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know what you guys think down below.